All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about the brand new feature in FL Studio 21.3 beta right now, and that is their new chord generator. Now, some people are saying this is AI, but eh, I don't know about all that. Let's look at it. So the first thing you do is right click on your instrument and you're going to open up piano roll. And then from there, you're simply going to hit this little piano roll options triangle here, go to tools come down to generate chord progression, or you can just press Alt P as the shortcut. Once you do that, it immediately generates a chord for you. So the one thing that you have to do here is kind of go ahead and right click here and edit the scale. So I'm gonna try D, but I want it to be D minor, and then hit generate, and it's gonna generate you a chord. Let's see what it sounds like. I don't really love that for my taste. Let me try another one. That was not too bad. You can change the different lengths of it here. You can reorganize, you can reorganize the chords as well. So you really can get creative with what it's doing and what you, you want it to, to do in the end. But this is a great way to get started with chords, really easy. You don't have to download any third-party plugins for this. This is native in FL Studio 21.3. Again, this is the beta today, but we fully expect this to be in the full 21.3 version once it's officially released. And one more really cool thing that I wanna show you here with the chord generator, is that if you already have a melody, you can actually generate chords that will correspond to the melody you already have in the piano roll. So let's check out this melody that I have already put here, and then we're gonna see what chord it generates to go with it. All right, so you see that? I'm gonna right click again, go to the piano roll, hit the triangle icon to open up tools, go to generate chord progression, and I'm going to hit analyze, and let's see what this does with the melody I already had there. That does not sound bad at all. First try, I didn't change any settings. I just opened it up, hit analyze, and that's what we have. Let's see what it sounds like when I add my drums back in. I just wanted to see what it sounded like with some drums, guys. Of course, it could be a lot of more mixing done. It could sound a lot better, but uh, so far, so good. So let's look at some of the other options in here. So you can kind of move this slider from conventional to adventurous. It just obviously changes how adventurous they're gonna get with the chords. When you come more to the conventional side, it's gonna kind of stick more so within the confines of your typical music theory and what you hear in more conventional type of music. As far as presets go, they already have a ton of preset chord progressions in here that you can come and choose from in both your major and minor scale. And then you can, of course, save your own user progressions as well if you want to use them more than one time. You can also change the rhythm of your chords, whether they're three quarter length chords, half length chords, quarter length chords, shuffle off, random, so you have a lot of different options there as far as the rhythm of the chords themselves. You can manually type in a chord progression, right, which is really cool. You also can kind of come change what genre it's generating chords for. You have pop, R&B, jazz, house, and metal. And you can kind of slide between, you know, a, a mixture of two different styles. So in this case, we have pop on the left and R&B on the right. There are a ton of other options in here as well. We're not going to go over them in this video, but just wanted to show you guys this new feature really quick. The Generate Chord Progression tool coming in FL Studio 21.3. You can go try it out now with the beta version. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Until next time, you already know what it is. This is Al B, and we are out.